All right, guys, here you go. It's finished. It took me about eh, 45 minutes or so. Put it in. Clearances are actually quite good. It looks almost like stock. So there's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, had a one or two issues, and we're going to get a little bit further into the car here, kind of to make that, to make my points here clear. So I would suggest leaving the key in the car, at least turned over right before you turn it on, because you're going to have to move the top up and down. For any of you guys who have one of these things, you know you got to get, in order to get behind here, you're going to have to raise the top up a little bit, kind of halfway so you can reach your hand back behind there. So that's kind of goes without saying. It makes fitting this piece in very easy, well, at least easier. Um, better if you had another person with you, but you know, Ah, sometimes you got to go it alone, so. Okay, so everything's working. Lights on, lights open, closes. Looks like OEM. Um, what I noticed is on the back end of these, for this, the new piece, it had basically um, little pieces of plastic that were going to finger into holes in the actual chassis on either side. Now, the mine that came off, there was nothing there, so I never bothered to look to see that. There was something there until I actually got the piece on here and start pushing down on it and it starts making plasticky noises and I reach back and there's tabs two per side. So that's actually kind of tricky. So I'm not sure if other people have had this problem, but you might, if your car doesn't have them, you might just want to cut them off and, um, you know, that way it goes on smooth. This piece actually was kind of tricky. I had to shave one of these little uh, outcroppings here to get it to slide in flush. But that was actually not too bad. That came in pretty good. Um, the wires hooked back up just fine. No other issues. So I would definitely, before I went in there, I'd raise my top up. I'd either remove this completely or um, loosen up the ends so you can slide it up and down because you will need to do that for this install. But otherwise, yeah, about 30, 40 minutes max to put it all back in. And uh, everything seems to be working. So I hope that helps you guys. Uh, yeah.